So the switches really switch things up. See, see what I did there? <laughs> anyway, they've switched things up on us by claiming to be a console, yet uses cartridges. Of course, it's the portable nature of the console that requires it, but can Microsoft and Sony learn from this? Let's find out. Welcome back to Gamer Meld, everyone. We know the industry is ultimately trying to lead everything to digital or streaming, but we're incredibly far off from the average users having the ability to do that, especially the streaming part of it. Unfortunately, it's pretty obvious that buying discs where you then have to install the games as well as downloading over slow connection are quite annoying. Who wants to get a game and have to wait hours to play? Sure, there's the pre-download, but that doesn't help those who just like physical media. So where does this bring us? To start off, I think we have to discuss the reasons why consoles use discs and why this generation of consoles insists on installing what's on them. The reason discs are used I think is obvious. They're cheap. But here's the thing. Blu-ray is significantly more to manufacture than DVDs. Of course, cartridges can be even more than that. And sure, the 32 gigabyte doesn't cost all that much anymore, but when we're talking millions of units, it quickly eats into margins. The next question, of course, is why last generation didn't force you to actually install the disc while this one does. Really, it all boils down to one thing, speed. Reading off a disc is far slower than reading off your hard drive. Even if the hard drive that comes with the Xbox and PS4 are slow in terms of comparison to SSDs or even faster RPM hard drives. With the push for multitasking, switching from game to an installed app would be noticeably different, as well as initializing the game and in between load times. We're talking multiple times the amount of loading. Cartridges could be a really great middle ground road for those who still like physical media. For one, the obvious being no need to install. If you understand read and write speeds, you'll know that microSDs actually aren't that impressive when it comes to sequential read and writes. Here's the thing though, the most important speeds when gaming is involved is your random read and write speeds, and these are where microSD cards can excel. To top it off, if you go with something a little bigger, like a more proprietary solution, you can get even better speeds, as well as far superior reliability. Unfortunately, that is where the microSD card falls short. The only major issue with this boils down to cost. Modern games are far bigger than anything the gaming industry has ever seen, and with the push for 4K, this number is going to grow exponentially. Then you have to think about things like compression because you have to play it directly off of the card. But I think it's something that needs to be considered. The demand could help drastically drop the price. Of course, it will never be in the same neighborhood with discs. The benefits seem to outweigh the costs in many ways. And with the Switch not requiring downloads on inserting the cartridge, it could force Microsoft and Sony to make discs go the way of the dodo. But what do you think? Obviously the Switch couldn't have huge hard drives with its form factor, so they were somewhat forced to do this. But with the pricing still at that $60 sweet spot, would the change be the sweet medium for those who still like to hold the things they purchase and don't like to wait to play? So yeah, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If not, go ahead and hit the thumbs down, but let me know why. That way, maybe I can change it in the future. And don't forget to subscribe. I have some really awesome videos coming out soon, and you don't want to miss them. And as always, have a great day.